Hello, my name is Guy Byers. I'm creating a series of tut video tutorials on how to use the WinScore program. Uh, the first of these tutorials is how to set up the program. Objective here is to uh, give you instruction on how to set up the WinScore program prior to your contest. These are things you do prior to the first contest day. You can do it a week before or anytime just to uh, get a better understanding of the program. Topics we're going to cover, a general overview of the uh, WinScore user interface, how to enter the contest information, start date, location, etc. How to download contest information from the SSA, how to download the contestant information from the SSA database. I'm going to touch briefly on handicaps, uh, control points, turn points, takeoff grids, and special use airspace. So let's go ahead and get started. Once you've installed WinScore, you'll see, you should see an icon on your desktop, double click. The program starts. On the left-hand side of the program, you'll see an Explorer type of uh, view. Uh, not much now because we haven't created a contest. This is different from the way WinScore used to be in the past. If you, uh, those of you like the classic style interface, come control bar and you can see the WinScore classic, if you will. But for this tutorial and all future tutorials, we're going to move forward with the uh, new user interface. So to get started, click here or File New for the new contest. Here you can enter all the information about your contest, start date, name, etc. Or you click this button in the upper right from SSA. Right then, the program went to the SSA website, uh, accessed the database containing all registered sanctioned contests for the year, and displayed it. Pick your contest. And for this demonstration, we're going to do Region 5 North. One click, automatically accepts. Went to the went to the uh, SSA website. Got all the information about the uh, contest, filled it all in, and you're pretty much done here. Contest settings are lesser used options. They're outlined in the manual. Uh, we need to, uh, get, let's, let's go ahead and move forward. Okay. So now you see the left-hand side of the program. It's come alive with many interesting things. We're going to focus on the contest setup in this tutorial. Uh, once uh, your contest begins, you can click under each day and uh, navigate this way. This is, will be covered in a future tutorial. First thing you want to do in your contest setup is add contestants. You can add them one at a time, but it's much better to import them from the SSA, and we're going to cover that now. Click here. Oh, by the way, uh, if you didn't see what I did there, this was a, uh, I did a right mouse click here. Import from SSA. It remembers what the contest you typed in at the uh, setup page, or you can pick another one if you'd like. Here, get contestants from SSA. Click here. OK. And it pulled in all the information from the database at the SSA website. This is the same database all the contestants use to enter their personal information and glider information when they registered for the contest. So now you can see the information displayed here in WinScore. And of course, you can click on the, uh, the headings of each column to sort. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, what we have to talk about now are the handicaps that have come down. Uh, the handicaps which are computed on the website and those that the contestants entered are notoriously unreliable. When the import occurred, WinScore uh, scanned the gl which glider they had, went to the uh, handicap list, looked up that glider, and entered the default handicap here. And this is not the handicap the, the uh, contestant entered himself because those can change. Maybe they didn't understand how to enter the weights or perhaps... Um, you know, they, they changed gliders. Who knows what happened? Sometimes they entered bogus information for the glider. If you look here, you can see they didn't enter a glider. So when score entered zero for that, this will have to be uh, corrected. You can correct it the following way, like this guy, for example, if, if he read, uh, say he dropped out, just go delete, and he's deleted. This guy, for example, say he uh, decided what he wanted to do, you double click. And you can edit him. Let's give him a glider. What kind of glider? Well, let's give him a uh, let's give him a good old-fashioned LS4. Just because you selected the glider, it didn't automatically update the handicap. You come here to the lookup, click, and it went out to the 2011 sailplane handicap list published by the SSA. And from LS4, the program determined it was this manufacturer, this model. These were the baseline weights, which would adjust the handicap if they were changed. 
and if you have winglets or these other options, they would modify the handicap based upon the formula published in the rules. Don't want to do that. And give you a handicap of 0.95. Okay. Everything else looked good. Okay. Greg now flying an LS4, and we're done. Want to make sure that the, all scores understand that they the score themselves is responsible to get this number right. Moreover, they have to publish this number before the contest so all the contestants can review it. One other thing I want to touch right now is a general feature of WinScore. Uh, if you want to uh, print this out, WinScore has a print feature. I'll just do print previews. So you can see what it would look like. It would look somewhere like this. Now, if this format is not to your liking, or indeed anywhere in WinScore, if whatever is printed or is not to your liking, you can simply uh, take all the information that's displayed here and take it to another program, manipulate it however you like, and format it however you like. And I'll demonstrate that now. Not This is not unique to um, contestants. You can do it with scores or anything else. But you would go edit, copy. All this information has now been copied to the Windows uh, uh, paste buffer. And you come down to a different application, say Excel. Edit, paste. And all the information has been pasted into Excel. And if you want to print out a, uh, a contestant list, you could uh, maybe get rid of some some uh, columns you don't like or, or clean it up somehow. And then file, print, preview. You can print from here. I won't go into Excel right now because we don't have a lot of time. But the, the, uh, the point of this demonstration was uh, you can take information from WinScore, whether it be contestant list, turn point list, scores, what have you, and bring it into a different application. Close that. No. All right, get, getting back to WinScore. Now we want to import the control points after you've modified, your, uh, updated your uh, contestant list. You want to bring your control points. So again, we right click on the control points, import from a file, these files you typically get from the Worldwide Term Point Exchange or the local uh, your local organization will have prepared a uh, Term Point database file ahead of time and then distributed that to contestants. And typically it would never change once it's distributed to the contestants. So I'll click here, select that file, open, and all the Term Points have been, been brought into the program. Now, uh, there's a manage feature here, which was useful in the past when uh, you had to enter the turn points manually. Typically, you would never want to change the turn points because the master list is in that file, which has been distributed. So you don't want to change change turn points in the middle of the stream, middle of the contest. Change horses in the middle of the stream. Excuse me. Okay. Now we can uh, look at a distance grid. This was useful in 10 years ago when we didn't have GPS so much. Now it's not so important. Take off grid positions right before the first contest day after you have all the contestants entered you want to compute a takeoff grid the rules state that there as for each class the takeoff order is assigned randomly and then for every contest day 20 percent is shuffled from the front to the back winscore will do that for you you click here double click and when you're ready to calculate you go through each class calculate calculate calculate. So for each class we calculate the takeoff order and for each day it lists the, the order. Now WinScore has a, has a lot of options for printing this out. File, print preview. You can say how many rows were on your runway, um, you know which class you want first. This is outlined in the manual uh, but uh, sometimes it's even then the uh, layout of the site is different than what people would like from WinScore. So again, what you do, edit, copy, come to Excel, come to Excel, edit, paste, and then you can, uh, the Excel wizards among you can, um, can uh, modify these, format them however you like, and pass them out. Only other thing, very quickly, is the, uh, it, for this tutorial, in flight log setting, there's a file that WinScore distributes, ConUSA SUA. That's a special use airface for the entire uh, country. It's good as a default. 
but your own site would need to um, get your uh, get your own SUA if they they so desire. Sorry, we don't have more time. Need to keep it under 10 minutes. I hope this gave you a, a overview of WinStore. More detailed information is in the manual, but this outlines some of the new features. And uh, thank you for your time.